welcome to this Learjet very short briefing on uh, functional and operation check. Before you attempt to do any operation check, make sure that the aircraft is cleared of any equipment and no steps or persons are near the flight control that may move or the landing gear so to avoid damaging the aircraft and hurting people. So make sure that is clear. Now let me introduce you to the two equipment. This is the ground hydraulic uh, mill. So this one is connected to the hydraulic servicing panel. The inline and the outline using quick disconnect. All right, these are the two line. And over there is the ground power unit that is connected to the external power supply. All right, now. Before you start this too, I repeat again, very important for the aircraft to be cleared of equipment and the control in the cockpit must be synchronized with the position of the flight controls and the landing gear in case someone has moved the controls. Now I will start the electrical and ground power and they are over there, the external three phase power supply. This is for the electrical power supply on and over here this is for the hydraulic electrical supply. Alright, here. It's a standard industrial three phase power supply. Now I will show you the operation of the hydraulic and electrical. Over here, this is the electrical supply, very simple, alright? So Turn on, turn on the power supply, select the DC power on, alright, so you have the voltage supply will be going on after this, alright, two switch, on, on, now this aircraft uses hydraulic supply of 1500 PSI, so Let's pull the stop button and increase the flow. Over here, this is the system pressure, right? And then this is the flow. Huh? So you increase the system pressure gradually. Gradually. Do not try not to touch the rest of the operation. This one is to use the hydraulic mill reservoir. We try not to use the aircraft reservoir. We use the hydraulic inside the external supply. Continue to increase the pressure. For flight control, we don't need a maximum of 1,005. But landing gear operation, we need 1,005. And you have to control this during the landing gear operation. For now, this lesson is flight control. So, just below 1,005, we do. The for operation check, there must always minimum be two person, one in the cockpit, one at the control. Always must be communication with each other. Let's come to power up the aircraft. So if you notice, a big sign is here to warn people against tampering with the control. We put this aside. And we will put on the power. Can you zoom in to this switch? Power switch. Alright, so I will turn on the power switch. So the aircraft is now on electrical power. Alright. And we normally do a scan check all right for the controls circuit breakers now now i do a quick introduction for the flight control the three primary flight controls are manually operated the flaps and spoilers are hydraulic control all right so i will be operating the 
primary track control which is quite simple I will show you the flaps and spoiler now uh, make sure that it is clear and I, uh, Yong Chen, I will show you where the position this is the spoiler switch come zoom in this is the spoiler switch and this is the flap control the spoiler you will have annunciator here and the flaps you will have your indication here all right flaps position indicator spoiler will have an annunciator here all right and so it must lead up before i know which one is it all right yes. all right so it is here all right now uh can we operate the are we clear to just take a quick look are we clear for flaps and spoiler yeah. So the spoiler, I will operate. See the spoiler is up. Spoiler. Now I close it uh, down. Stow for the spoiler. The spoiler is should be stow. Okay. The light goes off. The spoiler is stow. All right. Now I will be operating the flaps. Okay. Clear. So these flaps. We can have three positions, all right? So from up, we can move it down. The flaps is going down. We can stop it at mid position, at a center position. We can continue to operate down and stop. We can put it all the way down. Always ensure that there's no equipment below the flaps. Now let's go, I will put the spoiler up and I'll leave the flaps down. Let's take a look at it in the extended and deployed position. Let's go and take a look. Let's take a look. That's the spoiler. The spoiler is deployed. The flaps is extended. So you can do an extension right, of the wiring and the actuator within the flight control. Do not put your hand inside if someone is in the cockpit. Right? When you work, make sure that the supply is off. Always be careful when the flaps and spoilers are deployed. Right? So this is the position of a deployed flaps and extended flaps. Alright, thank you. That will be the end of the lesson for today.